It don't last always. It came to pass. Amen. Amen. It is my honor and my privilege to introduce the man of God who is going to preach this morning. A young man that is capable and willing to preach the word of God. A young man who lives the word of God. Amen. None other than Minister Andre Harris Senior. Amen. Let us stand to our feet and celebrate the man of God. Amen.
King James Version. Y'all read it silently while I read it aloud. Amen. Not as though I had already attained. Either were already perfect, but I follow after. It's that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto the things which are before. I press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. That was Paul writing to the people of Philippi. One of his congregations that he had one goal salvation for. Somebody say amen. Amen. I like graphics. Anybody ever been at a fork in the road? Well, today's message title, if I have to get one, you know, I ain't afraid. I ain't thinking fast. I ain't nothing. I'm going to get church. We call it back up. Let's pray. Father God, in the words of our pastor, just do it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor, for giving me the honor, my wife, my son, my family, my friends, the church congregation, everyone, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> God not going to church me. <laughs> he ain't pray. He ain't do nothing. That. Fork in the road. Today's sermon title is Keep on moving. Don't stop. Amen. Put a colon right there and add this. Your destination is not your destiny. Mm. Y'all gonna understand why I'm leaving. Your destination is not your destiny. Amen? Amen. Destination, the place to which someone or something is going or being sent. Mm. Two people caught that. Someone or something is going, that's the part right there, Pastor, or being sent. Can't nobody send me nowhere I don't want to go. Amen. Amen. Destiny, the hidden power believed to control what happens in the future. If you believe in Jesus, you know where your destiny is. Oh, y'all ain't with me this morning. Come on now. Yes. The key word there is believe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we just read Philippians 3, 12 through 4 in the King James Version. And I know I'm not the only one. Show of hands. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. That's kind of hard to understand. Amen, brother. Amen, brother. Amen, brother. Amen. So the Lord led me to the contemporary English verse to help us understand a little better. Can I get an amen? amen. Right there. Running towards the goal. This is still Paul, different translation, same meaning, a little bit easier to understand for some of us. Amen. I have not reached my goal. Yet. I am not perfect. But Christ has taken hold of me. So I keep running and struggling to take hold of the prize. Keep on moving. Don't stop. My friends, I do not feel like I have already arrived. Because my destination is not my destiny. But I forget what is behind and I struggle for what is ahead. I run towards the goal so that I can win the prize of being called to heaven. This is the prize that God offers because of what Jesus Christ 
and it's done. Is that a good word or is that a good word? Hallelujah. Now the, the Lord's job this morning is to help us understand that good work. Amen. 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 We just read this, we'll read it again. I have not yet preached my goal. I am not perfect. Is that anybody in here? Amen. But Christ has taken hold of me. Thank you, so I got some divine help to get to where I'm going. Yeah. So I keep on running. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. And struggling. That's right. Keep going. Because this walk ain't easy. He never promised you a rose garden. Right. And if you read 14, you'll understand. Yes. So I keep running and struggling to take hold of the prize. What is Paul really trying to say. Now a little background, we all should know that Paul had a different name. It used to be Saul. And when Paul was Saul, he was a persecutor of the Christians. In another word, he was a Christian hitman. If you claim to be, if you acted out as, if you showed up in the spirit of a Christian, Saul was out to get you. Somebody ought to say, Amen. But Christ has taken hold of me. No matter what I used to, you come on up. Let somebody have a word with you. Because the truth be told, if you're a believer, Your kind of destiny is heaven. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. But you got to go through something yes. to get something. Yes. Mm, Y'all don't like that part. Hallelujah. Y'all don't like that part. Y'all don't like yeah. that part. You got to press. Thank you. 
appreciate that. Being a woman. But if somebody needs the anointing that God has put on her life, and she has no pain, that's the The days of our women not wearing lipstick and, and makeup and earrings and jewelry and had to have your head covered and your dress that you trip over and have to be long and your arms fit be and stuff. Those things are over. Hmm. 
My destination is not my destiny. Turning water into wine was a destination. Feeding the multitudes twice was a destination. Healing the little girl and the woman with the issue of blood, all destinations. What if Jesus would have stopped there? But I can hear Jesus in his mind. Keep on moving, don't stop. No. <laughs> Keep on moving. What if Jesus would have stopped? Just for Bible study, the lessons and the purpose of what I've That dumb is singular. Uh oh. Who got that? It's not about all those things that led up. It's about that one thing. Remember that thing? That one thing. And that one thing was sacrificing his life. On the, on the cross for a sinner like me. This is the prize that Jesus and God, this is what I get. This is my reward for finishing. And I get it not because I'm worthy, I get it because I believe, but I get it because Christ already did it. I'm a Bible reader. And the scripture says he had hair like wool and skin like bronze. Never gave a description of blue eyes, long, straight head, light, pale skin. That's my Jesus. Y'all can feel whatever way you want to feel. But if you're a believer and you don't have an image of what you Me on by. 
God said no. That's right. If I did it. Oh, yeah. That's right. Don't say so. Mm. So that somehow I may also be raised to life. Y'all need to clap right Do you not understand that in order to get to heaven, you got to be raised to life? In order to be raised to life, you got to die. My destination is not my destiny. I believe 
don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Or if there's some point in your life and in your daily walk, you, 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 you get a little weary in believing what's going on because of your current situation and circumstances, you might say, what kind of God would let that happen to me? Come on now, we can talk to you. We can share with you. We can explain the goodness of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you need a church home today, Abundant Life Family Fellowship Swings on Welcome Hinges. I mean, as you can see, we have a good time Hallelujah. in the Lord. Amen. 